Welcome back, fashion enthusiast. Nadege Dupuspertus is a French model. She started modeling when she was 21 years old. Her breakout moment was when she worked with photographer Herb Ritz. A fun fact about her is that she never worked for Prada. She became successful because of her distinct androgynous look. I think my image at that time, you know, short hair and um, I'm not black, I'm not white. Um, at that time, I think I was the only one like this. You know, I arrived at the right time. So for this, I was lucky. And uh, I think it's why they really uh, used me a lot, you know. Because maybe blonde, it was like two, three girls that they can use. Or black, it was like one or two. If you agree that she is androgynous, give me a like. She is one of the various models that credit Gianni Versace for creating the supermodel. I think that uh, it's thanks to Gianni Versace, everything happens to this phenomenon about top model, you know? Uh, and uh, working with him was great. I am Lenacy Montero. Lenacy is a Dominican model. She stands out because of her natural mini Afro hair. Her look is very ambiguous. She kind of has an oval-shaped face with very pronounced cheekbones, making her very photogenic. She has small slanted eyes, which make her have a strong stare. If you have liked this series of androgynous models, please subscribe. In 2015, Montero debuted as a Prada exclusive. Her face has been on various Vogue covers. This video will end with Jenny Shimizu. She is probably the most masculine of the models in this video, not only because of her facial features, but also her body language. Give me a like if you have heard about her before. While working as a mechanic, she was scouted to model for Calvin Klein's CK1 fragrance. She became the first Asian model to walk for Prada and open the show.